Today was supposed to be the commencement day for the 2020 graduates of Princeton Theological Seminary, and I want to say a few words to the graduates. The Board of Trustees just met virtually and conferred your degrees, so you are no longer students but now cherished alumni, and I extend to you my heartfelt congratulations on the completion of all of your hard work to get to this day. This has been quite a challenging academic year. The year began with Stuart Hall, our only classroom building on campus, being out of commission and under renovation for the full year, as is Brown Hall, and these renovation projects are continuing even today. As we moved into the fall, the seminary community was torn by the tension and hurt created by our response to the historical slavery audit. By the time Christmas break came along, we were all pretty exhausted and fatigued. But then on New Year's Day, the seminary chapel flooded and the damage was so great that it's been closed for the rest of the semester as well as we have been making repairs to it. And then in March, we all began to shelter in place in response to COVID-19. Students who came from all across the world to come here to be a part of a residential community of faith and scholarship found that they were back home completing their semester online. Those who were in our dorms were evacuated quickly into vacant apartments. We who aspire to be a covenant community had to learn that social distancing is a means of loving. One of the hardest days for me was last month when I had to write the seminary community announcing that we were postponing commencement until May of 2021. Where we should be today is in the beautiful university chapel. We should all be wearing academic robes. You should be hearing your name read as you walk up the steps to receive your degree. That's the way it's supposed to be, but not the way it is. Being caught between how it is and how it's supposed to be is one of the scripture's favorite themes. In fact, it's pretty much the entire theme of the book of Lamentations. The author goes on for quite a while using phrases like all is in shambles and my heart is bereft of peace and I've forgotten what happiness looks like. But then the author turns on a dime and says, but this I recall in my mind. The steadfast love of God never ceases. God's mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. But this I call to mind. The steadfast love of God never ceases. Let's recall that to our minds on this day that was supposed to be your commencement day. The love and mercy of God never ceases. God's love is the most powerful force in the world. It is out of love that God created the world in your life and all life. It was out of love that in Jesus Christ, God entered our lamentations dying to love us, rising to give us new hope. Who knows what can happen in a world in which the steadfast love of God never ceases, in which God is great with faithfulness day after day. But you know, when someone says, I love you, they're looking for a response. And that response can't be, well, thanks for sharing or yes, I wrote a research paper on that, or I know the words for love in Greek. No, the the only response you can make to hearing that God loves you is to say, I love you too. And that's what leaving seminary is actually all about. Wherever you go, whatever you do, Whatever way in which you enter into lamentations in your own ministry or in scholarship or in public service, it's all a way of responding to the love of God. It's a way of saying, 
I'll use my life as a way of expressing I love you too. And I will aspire also for great faithfulness. And the love and the peace and the, the joy and, and the hope of God will be with you faithfully closer every day than you could see. I'm not worried about the future. I believe in the great faithfulness of our Savior, and I believe in you. God bless the class of 2020, and we'll see you next May.